to my channel so today i will be showing you how to make a little boy's shirt for this you might need like one yard of fabric and then chalk tape and scissors so for the first thing i'm going to do is to open up the fabric and guys this this the first thing i did um is to fold the fabric this way on itself and then check the chest measurement which is going to be the widest part of this um, shirt so the chest measurement I'm working with is 27. 27 divided by 4, that will be 6 point, around 6.25 or 6.7. So what I'm going to do is to check if that will fit in here. So that will fit in here and then plus extra 2 inches will still fit in here. Because you know this is supposed to be a loose fitting shirt, not too tight. So whatever measurement you're working with, divide it by four and then make sure that maybe extra two inches will fit in. That's one inch for seam allowance and one inch for ease. So after that, by the way, the shirt is for a six-year-old, a chubby six-year-old. So the next thing I have to do is to check the length I'll be working with. So I'm going to first make the front pattern for this shirt. So the, the, the length of the shirt I'll be working with is 18.5 plus extra um, uh, 1.5 inch or you can use maybe extra one uh, one extra two inches for your um, seam allowance but what I'm working with is 8.5 so I'm going to give it maybe I'm going to use 20 as the length for now so I'm just going to mark what I'm working with for the um, the total length of this shirt is 18.5 sorry not 8.5 so that's why I marked 20 for my seam allowance and for folding it. So that's like I added around 1.5 to it. You can add 2 inches and then make the, the folding at the end a little thicker. So after that, the next thing I'm doing now is to check the shoulder. So the shoulder I'm working with is 13. 13 by 2 is 6.5, right? So I'm going to mark it here. I'm going to mark that here and then come down on this line. The armhole I'm going to be working with is 15.5. So the armhole I'm going to be working with is 15.5. So divided by 2, that will be 7.75. But let's say I just make it 8, which is um like, if you want, you could still work with yours. But I'm just trying to approximate all the points in mine because I don't want the shirt to fit on him. I want it slightly loose. So you can always work with your exact measurement. So let me just recap what I did again. First, I checked the, the side divided by 4 plus 2 inches. That's the chest measurement divided by 4 plus 2 inches. Check the length plus 1.5 inches. The shoulder line divided by 2. Marked it. The armhole divided by 2. Marked, marked it here. And then I gave it a curve here. The next thing I have to do is come to the neckline by um, 2.5 inches here. 2.5. I'm going to mark it down here. 2.5 by 3 is what I'm going to be working with. I'm going to mark it this way. And then I'm going to curve it here. So that's basically it for the front panel of this shirt. I'm going to cut it out. And guys, sorry, don't forget to mark like about um point... Uh, 0 0.75 inches not up to one inch because one inch is what i normally use for adults but this is a six year old so you might want to use like 0 0.75 or um 0 0.5 inches here and then mark it as the shoulder slant right before cutting it out so now you can cut everything out so you just go cut out the armpit cut out the slant here you make the slant up to the point here and then you cut out this front neck right here. and then after that another thing I like to do is to give it the slit so I'm going to make my slit about because I'm going to make it a, um, just a slit in front I'm not going to give it a so I'm going to use five inches here So I opened it up like 5 inches down here so that the neckline can fit the head. So with this back panel here, I'm now going to cut the this front panel here. Sorry, I'm now going to use it to cut the back panel. So guys, as you can see, I'm still using the same um, folded side of this fabric. 
so i cut out the the front part from the bottom now i cut out the the other remaining parts of this uh, fabric here because remember i told you I'm, uh, one yard can easily make this so this is the folded part right this is the way the fabric was before this is one end as you can see this is one end this is the other end here so I, I, I cut out the uh, front panel from the bottom end now this top part of it is where I'm going to cut out the uh, the back panel so what I'm going to do is to place this on this here and then trace it again but before tracing it your back panel you should add for an adult you normally add like four inches to it but for a kid I'll use like maybe uh, 2.5 inches to me to to make it so guys what I'm saying is for an adult right you would normally use like um, the back panel of the shirt is longer than the front panel by four extra four inches right so you could use the same four inches for the child or you could use less depending on you you could use like three inches or you could use um, the same four inches so I'm just going to make it extra 3 inches, not 2.5. So I'll make sure that the back panel is longer here by extra 3 inches, which is here. So now, after making sure that that is 3 inches, what I'm going to do now is to cut it out. Cut out the same pattern here, both neckline and all, but I won't give it any slit. So I'm going to do that now. Guys, remember, I'm trying to show you the easiest way to make this shirt, right? So as you can see see the front panel this is the back panel this is the uh, the neckline for the two shirts the, the two patterns so remember i even cut the neckline the same as the back neckline if you pull it up you'll see i just traced out everything except i added extra three inches here for an adult you add like extra two inches so the next thing i'm going to do now for an adult i'll add extra four inches but for this since it's a chubby six-year-old boy, I made it like extra three inches. So what you're going to do now is the way this fabric, the shirt is now, you're going to go ahead and put, make sure the ends fit together, right? The ends are now the same length. And when you place it that way, now you see that this part is now longer. The three inches you added here will now start showing up on this end. So what you're going to do is get your pin, Pull this a little bit at the end here maybe by half an inch place it on this shirt here pin it down do the same on this part here pin it down right so guys when you're done doing this on the shoulder folding it on itself right that's what the extra three inches is for because it's going to flip on top of the front panel of the shirt that's what the extra three inches you added at the bottom is for so the next thing I'm going to do, remember when you do that, the back piece will come up and then you have extra piece of fabric by the armpit armhole here. So all you have to do is to trim it out. So I've done on this side, I'm going to trim it out here. So guys, after pinning this together, you can go ahead, open it up and sew on this, right? Close it up, like place it on the sewing machine and sew on top of this front piece and then the shoulder, like sew on this line that you pin this together on and then after that to cut your your sleeve what you have to do is to measure from this place to the end here and for me what i have is 10 so 10 will be my new armhole right now so i'm going to cut my sleeve so guys i've gone ahead and cut out the piece i'm going to use for my sleeve so if you remember what i said was 10 for my new armhole now so 10 i'm going to have two pieces of fabric that will be up to 10 inches width wide so that will be 20. so the next thing i have to do is to fold this fabric on itself right i'll fold it on itself the way i folded it the part with the folded end for the two fabrics is here the part with one folded end and the other ends of the fabric is here so if i split this open now when i'm done i'll have two separate pieces of this so just make sure that your edge with the folded part is here for the two fabrics the two piece of fabric which will be one um the two sleeves so what i have to do now is this the way it is uh, the sleeve i'm going to be working with is five inches for length so I added extra 1.5 to it, so um, extra 1.5 or 2 inches, so that's giving me like 7. 
So what I'm going to do, it is turn this way. I'm going to come down by 3 inches, right? And then make, go like 10 inches this way, which is the 10 inches I got from the sleeve. And then mark it on the line that, that on the three, right? So what you have to do, come down three inches and then mark the 10 inches or whatever inches you got from your shirt on that line for the three inches. So from there, you will now mark like you're writing an S. Just mark, mark it this way. The next thing you have to do is to check the biceps or the length, weight, the end of the sleeve, divide it by two and then add extra inch. Then whatever you got, mark it this way, like mark it down and then connect it to the end of that line or the end of this 10 inches line here. So that is what I marked it to and then cut out everything. So guys, I wanted to show you how to add this uh, to finish up the neckline for the shirt, right? So we already have the sleeve. To attach here after we close up these ends here we have the sleeve two of them here so this will go on the on both sides it's two here so this one here what you have to do is you have the, the neckline that you left open here you can add a placket to it I'll make a video on how to do that when I make the the adult size of this shirt but for this kid I'm going to just leave it as an open line the way it is now but I want to give it finishing touches so how you do that is Cut out fabric that is longer than the line, maybe by extra three inches longer. And then the next thing you have to do, place it right side facing each other. And then you right side facing each other, you go on and sew on the on the line. What you do now is to uh, notch the ends. Just I just wanted to remind you to notch the ends so that when you go to attach the sleeve, you won't be confused. This is your new shoulder line. Don't forget to notch it so that you know where to start when attaching your sleeve. Because from this, I also notched the center part of this sleeve here. After cutting it, I notched the end so that when I go to attach it, I know that the notch is going to the notch on this one. So that's my new shoulder line for both sides of the shirt. So I'm going to finish up my... So guys, I'm done with the shirt. I folded the ends and then I finished up the the neckline in front so guys this is the end product thank you guys so much for watching please like share and subscribe bye